okay so as you know all organic chemistry paper is consists of four units okay so in that uh, there is a unit one that we will start today uh, unit one name is mechanism of organic reactions okay now this is a very simple unit uh, very simple concepts are there but you have to recapitulate your uh, knowledge of FYBSC or SYBSC or uh, even also 11th and 12th standard so that you can easily understand the uh, syllabus of TYBSC organic chemistry okay so we will uh, start directly the uh, syllabus of our paper okay so as per syllabus the first point of your uh, syllabus or your unit first is this bond fission okay now before uh, study about bond fission what is mean by bond right the bond is formed between two atoms this you know all bond is of different types like ionic bond covalent bond coordinate bond etc and etc okay so while studying organic chemistry the important bond for us is covalent bond okay so how covalent bond is formed covalent bond is formed when electrons are shared by two atoms that two atoms may be same or may be different okay so when electrons are shared by two atoms then there is a formation of covalent bond now if we break this bond then it is called as bond fission okay so what is bond fission bond fission is simply breaking of bond now this takes place by two different methods number one homolytic bond fission number two heterolytic bond fission now we will see one by one what is this homolytic bond fission and heterolytic bond fission okay now see first of all homolytic bond fission now the name itself indicate homolytic it means what similar breaking of bond or uh, the definition is like this uh, the bond fission in which there is a breaking of covalent bond in such a way that each atom acquires one electron okay that means bond breaks evenly okay each atom every atom gains one electron see this scheme uh, here i have given the general scheme uh, for example if there is a covalent bond between these two atoms a and b okay this is the covalent bond now if bond breaks in such a way that that this A atom also gains one unpaired electron and this B atom also gains one unpaired electron. That means what is the product? The product is free radicals. A one electron, B one electron. So there is a formation of free radicals. So what we can say in other words, if there is a homolytic bond fission, then there is a formation of free radicals. There is a formation of free radicals. Now see this arrow condition. Okay arrow condition is sunlight that means this homolytic bond fission generally takes place in presence of light in presence of light now here uv light is also there sunlight is also there so different types of uh, but generally light condition is there okay so when the bond breaks evenly so that every atom gets one electron then such kind of bond fission is called as homolytic bond fission now to break the bond we required energy okay to break the bond to break this bond we will require the energy so that energy is called as bond energy okay so if we provide the sufficient energy to break this bond then there is a formation of free radicals okay now generally such kind of uh, uh, fission such kind of bond fission takes place if molecule is homodiatomic molecule for example Cl2 molecule, Br2 molecule, or even uh, CS3 single bond CS3 that means ethane molecule. That means if the two atoms are same, or we can say if the bond is between two similar atoms, then homolytic bond fission takes place because both atoms have same electronegativity. So there is a no question of attracting electron pair by one atom. Okay, so homolytic fission observed in similar atoms. So remember this thing. So this is all about homolytic bond fission. Now we will see about what is heterolytic bond fission. Okay. Now see this is heterolytic bond fission. Now before um, uh, directly uh, see this scheme. 
now if the bond is between a and b and uh, suppose this b is more electronegative than this a okay what is electronegativity electronegativity is the ability of atom to attract the electron toward itself now if this b is more electronegative then this bond pair electrons will be attracted by this b atom so what will happen this a will acquire positive charge b will acquire negative charge that means there is a formation of cation and anion so what we can say we can say that in hydrolytic bond fission there is a formation of ions that is cation and anion now another important thing is that hydrolytic bond fission takes place in presence of some reagent or some conditions are there okay now the main important thing is that hydrolytic bond fission is observed when there is a bond between two different atoms having different electronegativities okay so this is all about hydrolytic bond fission okay so these are some of the examples of homolytic and hydrolytic bond fission now see this uh, this is the example of hydrolyte hydrolytic bond fission see they are, this is called as uh, methyl chloride okay methyl chloride so there is bond between carbon and chlorine we know that chlorine is more electronegative as compared to carbon so the electron will be pulled by this chlorine and there is a formation of cs3 plus that is uh, that is called as methyl cation and cl minus that is called as chloride anion so this is the example of heterolytic bond cleavage again this is the example of heterolytic bond cleavage they are now here uh, the bond is between carbon and uh, zinc that is metal now here we know that metal is electropositive and carbon is electronegative so this time electrons will be uh, taken away by carbon so there is a formation of cs3 minus that means methyl anion and zn2 plus zinc cation so this is also example of heterolytic bond fission now see this is example bit of homolytic bond fission the bond is between two carbons so this this group is also same this is also same so the bond breaks evenly and there is a formation of two methyl radical okay so this is also example of homolytic bond fission the bond between two chlorine breaks and there is a formation of two chloride radicals and this uh, reaction takes place in presence of uv light okay the next point of your syllabus is what is mean by reaction intermediate okay now as you are the students of tybsc you know what is general reaction okay uh, there is a starting material or we can say reactant and finally we get the product but the product is not obtained directly okay first of all reactants are converted into transition state then transition state converts into intermediate intermediates again convert into transition state and there is a formation of product there is a difference between transition state and intermediate what is the difference see intermediate is short live charge or uncharged species having definite molecular structure and shape similarly transition state is also transient unstable uh, combination of reactants but it does not have definite molecular structure this is the important difference between intermediate and molecular structure remember see this uh, graphical representation here is a reactant okay so this is transition state and then there is a formation of intermediates again energy increases again second transition state comes and there is a formation of products so in other words what we can say we can say that every reaction uh, there is in every reaction there is a formation of intermediates and then finally we get the product now intermediates are of different types for example cation if positively charged intermediate is there then it is called as cation then there is an anion anion is negatively charged carbon uh, negatively charged intermediate that is anion then free radicals are also called as intermediate okay so basically we have to study cations anions and free radicals as a intermediate okay now we will see the example of uh, we will take one example so that you will easily understand what is the reaction intermediate okay so uh, for your understanding i have taken one simple example 
you all know this example this is tertiary methyl bromide okay tertiary methyl bromide why tertiary because this carbon is attached to three methyl group so it is tertiary carbon and this bromide okay now uh, this is sn1 type reaction you know this okay so what will happen uh, first of all the bond between carbon and bromine weakens so this uh, is represented by dash 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 so on this carbon there is a formation of delta positive charge on this bromine there is a formation of delta negative charge this uh, bond becomes weak but it it is not break here okay so that's why it is called as transition state now if this bond breaks completely then there is a formation of this tertiary methyl cation okay this is the intermediate this is called as cation and this is br minus this is anion okay so this is intermediate this is transition state again if we uh, take alkaline koh as a reagent here uh, in this arrow then what will happen oh attacks on this carbon so there is a formation of bond between this carbon and this oxygen again bond is not formed completely so it is transition state again delta positive charge delta negative charge and finally there is a formation of complete bond between this carbon and oxygen so it is product so see this is reactant this is transition state this is intermediate again it is transition state and then there is a formation of product so i think uh, all of you understand what is meant by reaction intermediate okay so students we have seen three concept today uh, the first concept is what is meant by bond fission uh, there are two types of bond fission homolytic bond fission and heterolytic bond fission and again we we have seen one point that is what is meant by reaction intermediate okay in further lecture we will see about uh, different types of reaction intermediate that is cation anion and free radical etc etc okay so this is the first lecture of our syllabus uh, i will uh, put it on youtube channel so you can easily uh, learn the video Uh, any time you want if you have any queries then uh, please uh, write in the comment section box and that we will uh, discuss in the live uh, lesson series thank you stay happy stay safe stay home okay